question is from Trey Bell Official. What should you do if you are plateauing in a specific body part? Mm. So without being able to look at your workout and specifically see what you're doing, uh, I'll give a general kind of answer. Generally speaking, uh, the thing that you would do if a body part is not responding is to train that body part a little bit more uh, with a little bit more volume, a little bit more frequency, and prioritize it in your workouts. Okay, so let's talk about those three first. More volume. You're going to do more sets of exercises for that body part than you will for your other body parts. And by the way, you can't, don't bump the whole body up with extra volume. It might be too much for your body to handle. Um, and again, we're trying to get a, a, a lagging body part to catch up. The second one is frequency. If you're training that body part twice a week, try training it three days a week. That's an easy way to add the volume too. So you got an extra day now of exercises and, and, and stuff like that. Um, and then prioritizing it, train it first in the workout. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a big one. You know, if it's your biceps, it, I almost never recommend people hit their biceps before they hit their back. But if you've got great back development and your back biceps are weak, hit the biceps. Don't first. you think too there could be a, a neurotic component to this? It, like somebody that's like, oh my god, I gotta grow my biceps, and then they're always doing like the same machines and they're always doing the same, uh, you know, isolating type exercises yeah. and not ever considering that just doing pull ups, uh, you know, would would have a, a better effect to them as well. Well, we uh, shameless plug, but this is why we created. Uh, Maps Black, Maps Aesthetic is designed this way. It's designed for somebody to follow the program, to choose one or two lagging body parts or stubborn, whatever you want to look at, or plateaued in, and it's programmed for you on how we would attack it. Now, with my experience and what happens to most people, including myself, uh, with things like this, is you have a stubborn body part. Let's talk about uh, you know my calves for the, being one of those areas. And it really just, to, and to Sal's point, it wasn't a priority. It's like very few people train their three to four days a week, every single week, consistently, never miss a day, go for months straight in a row. And what ends up happening is life happens, you get sick, you, you skip a few days, you go back to the gym. What I would do in my early 20s is when I come back, I always started with my favorite muscle group. Yeah. Where as I got older... And I cared more about trying to balance my physique out and symmetry. I would always start back. So let's say I'm you. You do like a body part split where it's, you know, legs one day, chest, then back, then arms and shoulders or whatever. And uh, you you hit you know day one, day two, day three. Uh, and let's say day one is legs, and let's say that's your lagging body part. You hit legs on Monday, then you go to Tuesday. You hit Wednesday. You hit, and then you you have a, a two day break. You just you fall off. You got to get consistent. You couldn't make it to the gym. And then you, most people pick up where they left off in their routine. I would never do that again. I would reset back to legs again. If I ever took a little, even a short break, I'd always start back over at the muscle group that I'm reprioritizing. So that way, I'm the total volume in a month. I, I'm always getting it what I at least bare minimum need or scaling up for the body part that I'm trying to prioritize. I think that really helps. Yeah, and you know what? Um, if people are really honest with themselves, oftentimes that lagging weaker body part is one that historically you just didn't train mm. as much as the rest of your body. You know, maybe now you're you're worried about the fact that your, you know, your back doesn't match your chest. But for the first you know three four years of your training, you bench pressed all the time. You almost never did any back exercises. Right. Um, so you have to be very honest with yourself. Oftentimes, in my experience. A weaker body part is just due to that. It's due to the fact that, well, you actually never really trained this body part like you did some of your favorite body parts. I wanted to ask you, Adam, because I know that when you were competing, you went through a series of body parts mm -hmm. for you, right? What mm -hmm. were they? Uh, the very first one was my shoulders when I was doing a show. Uh, the second one was my back. Then my third one was calves. Mm. So that was kind of the order uh, during just in, during that window of competing where I like, okay, each after each show... I would assess my physique and I'd look at the the body part that either one, the judges said something to me or two, that I thought uh, needed to come up more. Mm -hmm. And then I would program it that way, which yeah. is what inspired the program that we wrote. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's but, literally how I did it. But yeah, I mean, starting your whole workout with your weak body part, I bet you most people with a weak body part don't do that. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, how many people like- Well, I guess to respond. When, when calves became that for me, right? And it was a total shift for me. Never did I ever- 
go to the gym Hit and calves. it and calves was the first thing that I did. I go over and do the two three exercises for that and then go to the rest of my and I just was consistent about it. And you know, it's it's hard to be consistent with that when 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 life happens, when you have not enough time that day or you miss a day, but when it's a lagging body part and you're really trying to bring it up. I, so I still do this now today with like my legs cuz my my legs are behind on the rest of my body part and so if like just we just had a break where you know we were off, I was off for over 2 weeks um, I don't even remember what I left off on but it doesn't matter I'm starting with legs yeah. it's lay and and bare minimum even if I don't do anything else and what might happen like this week you know I got into the gym I lifted one day so far uh, I plan to lift today. I'll do legs again today. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I, it, I'll definitely make sure I'm not missing the the area that needs the most development when I'm coming to the gym, even inconsistently. And that's just you just gotta focus focus that way. Yeah, I think too. I definitely agree with you guys both uh, in terms of lagging body parts. But in terms of reading this, like, it's just a, like a plateau that they're reaching within a specific body part they've been trying to address. I think you know just the change of stimulus. You know, a lot of times which we harp on all the time. I mean, that's yeah, something right. that we're just like trying to make sure we stay ahead of that by, you know, creating that in the programming of it. So the programming in itself is very crucial uh, to then, you know, being able to bust through a lot of these like pitfalls that you get into. You're, you're totally right. I, I know, I know the angle. So the angle you're going is you're maybe you plateaued in this body part because you've been doing the same reps, same set or the so, yeah, same you exercises. You just focus on volume or whatever, but it's the same stimulus. No, that's a, that's a that's an excellent point, yeah. and, and it is. You know, sometimes I think we just assume that everybody who's listening is also following all the math that's programs, true. which isn't true. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are doing their own thing, and they're just taking our advice. Uh, the, again, a re the reality that's what makes the the programming so special is you've got the three of us that, with all the years of experience, yeah, we're trying to think ahead for you that have sat down and programmed it so these type of issues don't happen to you, and in a perfect Perfect world, you are. You're moving from one maps program to another maps program. You're kind of transitioning in and out all the time. And if we've done a good job of creating those programs, you really shouldn't hit hard plateaus in certain muscle groups. The other thing that we're, we didn't say or address that could also be a possibility, and the most common one that comes to mind when I think of this is like your butt, uh, is just a poor uh, neurological connection to it. So sometimes you could be doing like, and I would see this a lot, like. Uh, with female clients of mine that are trying to develop their butt and they're doing lots of volume and lots of butt exercises, but because they don't have a good connection there, what ends up happening is the legs just keep developing and they're not getting a lot of development in their butt, yeah. which is their goal. So this also could be an area because I don't know what we're, what body part we're talking about right now. It's less likely if it's biceps, right, that you have a poor connection to your biceps, most people. But if are, it's like lats or chest, yeah, if or it's butt. lats, if it's calves, if it's yeah. if it's butt, these are areas that it is kind of common that mm -hmm. some people have a poor connection there, and that could also be an area that needs to be addressed. And that's you know heading into the maps prime type of area where you're focusing on that type of stuff.